Hello everyone, my name is Yannick Michiels from Belgium and uh, welcome to another uh, walk interview. Thank you for, for the introduction, Yannick. Uh, you won the Swiss Championships uh, in sprint. You, you were second uh, on EOC, uh, also in Switzerland. Are we coming for bronze to walk or do you always uh, reach just for the top? Uh, of course, you always start a race to, to be at your best, but uh, I think that has been the problem several years before at WOC that I, that I aimed a bit maybe too high uh, and I, I wanted to take the gold medal and that's a good approach to a race, but uh, I, I will be happy if I can get a medal. I've been very close several times, uh, last time or the last WOC sprint in, in Riga, I was just uh, less than a second from, from the bronze medal. So uh, I hope uh, this year in, in Czech that I can step up to the, the real top three and uh, that's, that's the goal. And then let's see, there are three medals and uh, yeah, we will see that day which one and hopefully, uh, yeah, I can come close to, to a victory. You opened the season pretty well. So I believe this, is, uh, this should be... Uh... This should be a goal for you. Um, how does uh, your current preparation look like? What do you do in uh, in the last weeks or days before uh, before such a championship or such a race to to really be be on the top? Actually, it wasn't too much time between AOK and Walk now. So uh, after AOK, I took it a bit easier the the, the following week. Uh, and then I was another two weeks at home, training well, combining both sprint trainings and, and just track, track intervals. Uh, and then on the 29th of May, I, I came to check uh, for one week, actually a bit more, almost 10 days of training. Um, it was hard to find uh, really good and relevant uh, sprint maps in the uh, check because... Uh, the, the map where walk will be is, is, is kind of a special terrain. Um, so the coming weeks, uh, I will spend uh, one weekend or one longer weekend in France uh, on uh, very similar maps. And then we have a few more uh, in the Netherlands. So uh, mostly my map trainings will be uh, focused on, on that. And of course, next to that, uh, the good uh, interval sessions, uh, because I know if I'm, my running shape is uh, need to be on the highest point, and um, yeah, it's just uh, this weekend three weeks to go. So uh, yeah, it's all about the final preparations and um, coming three days before uh, the walk uh, sprint final to to check. And then it's about resting that last week and some sharp short sharp sessions. That was my uh, another next question, if you will if it was sufficient for you to be here for 10 days or if you plan to, to come ahead uh, ahead of the sprint qualification and, and the final to sharpen sharpen your shape. Uh, but as you said, pre probably you will just uh, take a rest that last week and uh, do some just easy jogging in Czech Republic or uh, do you plan uh, some modal events? Uh, mostly the race is on Saturday, so uh, in my usual uh, approach to, to championships, I would do a, a, a short session uh, just running uh, on Tuesday. Uh, and then I think once I'm in Czech, I will, of course, do the model event uh, and some short jogging and some sh uh, strides. But uh, yeah, mostly all the work has been done before that and the last week. It's just for me to to get my legs rested and uh, be mentally uh, also ready to race. And if we if we leave the sprints, uh, you, if I'm right, you also did just some easy sessions, but uh, you tried the sandstones. Uh, how did you like it? And uh, yeah, how did you like the forest terrains actually here? What do you have? Uh, uh, um, I was uh, I was picking only the sandstone terrains. Uh, so I did three sessions during my stay in Czech uh, in this kind of terrain, mostly because I will uh, also run a relay uh, or the original plan that I was only running relay in the forest for uh, Team Belgium. But now I will also start in the middle distance. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fair in this and I'm mostly focusing on the sprint and uh, my main focus is on that and the rest of the week uh, we will see what, uh, what it will bring. But um, yeah, 
I know I know what the terrain is, and in a relay, I, I I've been running well on the relays before. Um, so uh, yeah, the terrain is extremely nice, uh, and and I think even even if there wasn't a sprint at Wok, I would have come for sure to maybe run the long distance because I think that suits uh, me a bit better than the middle. Um, but now with the with the full program, I think it's better for me to to do only middle and relay after the sprint events. So uh, about the, if we if we talk about the disciplines, you will run the sprint, sprint relay, then middle and relay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And maybe if you will be fresh enough, we will see you in long. No, 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 no. It's some other guy uh, picked for that in Belgium because we have only one spot for okay. uh, for that race. Uh, and uh, I think he is preparing well for that, and I let him do that. So. <laughs> For me, it's more than enough, like like it is right now. Uh, there is a lot of competitions in a few days. Uh, yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Besides, and it, and top competitions, of course. Besides, uh, Vogue 2021. One, uh, what are your um, other goals uh, in uh, in running season? Yeah, of course. I'm a bit sad that uh, in the the other two rounds of the World Cup, there will not be any individual sprint events. So. Um, it will be only next year in in May. The World Cup in uh, in Sweden will be the main goal in in orienteering. So uh, after after walk, I will uh, switch my focus again a bit more on running, uh, and I want to run a fast 10k and half marathon in the autumn. Uh, I've done a good 10k in Berlin earlier this year. Uh, finally, running uh, sub 29. So um, I was happy with that, but then uh, the half marathon was okay. I ran 104, but uh, the goal was a sub uh, 103, and that's the goal now for the autumn. And I believe also with the COVID situation, the restrictions are lifted in most countries, and uh, I will get uh, good races uh, or another good chance in the autumn. Okay, you have you have answered my next question that you are very fast, very fast runner. And uh, what what can we expect? What times can we expect in 10k and half marathon? But uh, yeah, you've answered it. <laughs> so and the 10k uh, was uh, like I said was the first time running under 29 minutes for me. So uh, 28.52 uh, I did in Berlin. So I was really pleased with that. Uh, half marathon, I ran a bit faster in uh, Barcelona in 2020, just before COVID came. It was actually my last race uh, before uh, this whole pandemic uh, came. And there I won. I ran one hour, 03 and 39 seconds. So that was, uh, I was really happy with that. But uh, I believe I'm capable to run close to a minute faster should be a, a really good time. So anytime you you step on the start of those two distances, uh, the goal is clear uh, to beat your current personal bests, I guess. Yeah, you know, <laughs> after a while, it started to get uh, tougher. Eh? I, I, in 2015, I ran a really good time on the 5K on the track, 13.47. And the years after, I, I tried to, to beat that. And I was always going with the goal uh, to the race to beat that time. And then it's mentally very tough. But um, yeah, if if I can run faster, I will for sure try to do it. But uh, at the while after a while, it's also good to just run, like I said, a 20, sub twenty nine or a one or three mile half marathon. It's still really good times. Yeah, those are really perfect times. Back to orienteering. What are your uh, favorite disciplines? Uh, no, what are the favorite? What, what is favorite discipline? I can I can guess probably, but maybe I'm wrong. But what are your favorite terrains for sprints and also uh, when we go into the forest? Um, yeah, of course, sprint is my is the discipline I I I, I do or I performing the best in. But uh, I do like uh, relays, uh, especially the, the first leg. I like the action and uh, like uh, starting in a mass start and uh, yeah, a bit more tactical racing. So that I really enjoy to do. Um, about terrains, I think uh, like in, I've been to Italy several times in the, uh, like in the early spring. And they have these nice coastal towns with uh, narrow passages and... Uh, I really like that for sprint uh, and for forest. Of course, 
for me, uh, um, a lot of forests are nice, but uh, I prefer the more bit runnable forest because the, the terrains where I live here in Belgium are, I just need to read a map and don't uh, think about where I put my feet. And uh, I struggle sometimes in, in, in rockier terrain that I'm more looking where to run than actually reading the map. Uh, so uh, I have to say, the terrain in yeah the sand dunes terrain in in stones terrain sorry in in Czech uh, they are they are nice to run and they are runnable so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to run the relay there yeah perfect I believe you will like the relay it's a lot lot it's a lot about uh, map and technique but uh, the runnability is should be very it's nice. good huh? yes yes yeah.